Hi, Madison. How are you? I'm good. Do I have to press this? Got it. The okay. I think I'm Zoom always stress. I'm like I never know what right? I'm doing. Yeah, yes. Okay. We're good now. <laughs> good I'm great how are you I'm so well so you're so incredible and I know what you did last summer you're essentially playing three characters with playing Allison Lennon and then Allison playing Lennon and it's just incredible so how did you go about crafting your portrayals of these so incredible women yeah I mean it was it was a lot of work um technically it was a lot more than I realized. I mean, I knew it would be hard, but I didn't realize how much went into playing twins just with like, you know, a normal scene. You have like your special effects team there on set with you. And like, that was new to me. Um, but as far as the creative process, like that's always been my favorite. And I've always loved a journal for my characters. So that was kind of <laughs> the one thing that like kept me on the same page during set is I'd have my like Allison journal, my linen journal. And whenever I had to jump into the other character I was like okay freshen up freshen up um but yeah it was it was fun honestly it was a little bit of a relief after we filmed the pilot because <laughs> once Lennon was dead I was like okay now now we have like Allison playing Lennon um and so I could focus a little bit more on that oh my gosh so what did you put in your journals just like uh, backstories more than anything um because probably the the biggest complication was the first time you meet these twins is at grad night um, and they just so happen to be wearing like the same exact outfit, which we all know, you know, is for the big twist at the end. Um, but because of that, I wasn't really able to create any sort of like physical identity to separate them, which I feel like if I ever got the chance to play twins again, um, oh, that would be such a treat, you know, just, just like, cause I mean, people are dressed differently, you know, they, they wear their hair yeah. differently, they part their hair differently. And we weren't able to do any of that. So it was solely based on personality and reaction. Um, so for journaling, for me, it was really just like creating who they were when they were kids. Um, and, and just stories they would have shared memories they would have shared. Um, because at, I, I didn't want to fall in the trap of making them so stereotyp stereotypically different. I wanted them, I wanted them to have similarities. I wanted them to feel like identical twins, you know. And and I, I I think there's even a part in the pilot where you can get lost in that a little bit, and you're like, what am I looking at? Um, and so that was the goal, but it was, it was a lot of working with our our showrunner Sarah Goodman to kind of um, exactly figure out like what that was. Uh, but it was fun. It was a lot of hard work. So what sort of reactions have you received to the show, to your performance? Do people give you like their fan theories of like, who did it? Who's the killer? What's the deal with the cult? Um, I mean, that's, it, I feel like the biggest reaction has been obviously like everyone's theories of like, who's doing what. Um, the reaction I wasn't expecting though was, I, I guess I'm dumb for not expecting it, but like all the ships that are going on between like yes. Allison Margo, Allison Dillon, uh, Riley Dillon, you know, I wasn't expecting any of that. And that's like all over Twitter um, <laughs> and I see it. So I'm watching it, um, but it's fun to see like uh, everyone's reactions and <laughs> how upset they get by like some of our characters decision making. <laughs> um but yeah that's that's been fun to watch okay so let's jump into spoiler territory I've seen tomorrow's episode it's amazing <laughs> I'm still in shock I watched it yesterday and I want to watch it again I'm like what it was not what I was expecting let me tell you <laughs> it was not what any of us were expecting like that was what was so much fun because I remember obviously like through the entire time filming we were all guessing like who it possibly could be and if is this spoiler safe territory now yeah 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 I swore it was Bruce I had money on it I was like it has to be my father this is the yes. only thing that makes sense like I would have put so much money on it being my dad and then and then yeah I remember I read the I read the pilot for the first time and I was in absolute shock I was in shock um but it ends in like the best way possible like it's the most fun yes. now that we have that ending I really can't imagine it any other way and I love that Brienne when we interviewed her she talked about killing Eve and I didn't pick up on it and then I watched the episode and I'm like okay of course she was yep. giving me a good clue <laughs> 
I know, the, honestly, doing <laughs> the show was the hardest because we had like, we weren't allowed to say anything, like anything at all. So I feel like we've been talking in code this entire time. So it's exciting for us to like finally talk about these things. Um, but it's also kind of scary because it's kind of been like engraved in our brains, like do not say anything, like nothing at all. And we're like, okay. Um, yeah, so it's nice, it's freeing, it's weird. Yeah, one of my theories was the dad, Bill Heck, for sure, because I'm like, why is he so calm about his daughter dying? And like, why is he so entwined with like the ex-wife and then the cult and then? Yeah, there's a lot of misleads, um, which I think is what keeps you watching, you know, like there's so much going on, um, a lot. And that's like, if there is a second season, um, I think I would love to see that side of the show, which is like the cult kind of taking the forefront because it's teased so much throughout the show, but we never, you never really get like all of it, you know, and you're so curious about exactly what's happening. Um, and then obviously there's that other big twist, like in the last second of the show. Yes, um, Ashley. Yeah. So I would be very curious to see kind of, honestly, I would love to see a second season where Riley comes back like full full revenge mode yes yes and you know dylan's not done with it because he has the bible right mm -hmm. that's what he's yeah so yeah. which we all happening? knew that was gonna happen from like episode four we're like all right dylan like what's going on dude what are you doing <laughs> you're talking in code you're saying weird things um so it, it all makes sense in the end it really does like that was i was really nervous you know i mean anytime you do some sort of like murder mystery you're always you want the best ending possible and you want it to make sense um and you don't want it to be like a disappointing random joe schmo who was introduced the episode before so and all the pieces are there from the beginning um you yeah. could actually sit down and put it all together yourself if you wanted to yeah i plan on it i'm gonna watch it all again yeah <laughs> just binge watch yeah interesting to see it though with like that new perspective of knowing who the killer is um you definitely watch the show differently. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about filming those final scenes with Brienne, especially when you get stabbed and then you're slumped on the floor and you ID Dylan. <laughs> what was it like filming those scenes? They were very emotional. Um, they were very, very long nights. Uh, probably some of the hardest shoot days I think we had. And also there was just so much pressure. You know, it was it was the climax and we wanted we wanted the payoff to be like as good as it was on the paper. Um, so it was definitely like a work in pro progress. Like we, we worked at it a lot, but we kind of like blacked out. I think like by the end of the day, we were like, Are, do, is it done? Like I, I had no idea what it was going to look like until I saw it for the first time. Um, but I, I mean, I think it turned out great. And then that, I mean, my favorite part is at the end, obviously when, when um, Allison chooses who she choose? I still, feel, I still feel like I can't say <laughs> anything. Um, Margo, that was always my favorite part. And I feel like you must get so many reactions on Twitter as you were saying, and you're like, oh, I can't say anything. <laughs> well, I'm, I know. I'm like, I'm so curious to see. I can't wait to like watch on Friday uh, when people finally get the reveal. I'm, I'm so curious to see people's reactions. I hope it's good. I don't know. Like, you never really yeah. know. Um, I think they'll, I think they'll be happy with it. So tell me about bonding with Brienne and also with Ezekiel and Ashley. I mean, they're the best, like we had so much fun in Hawaii and because of the pandemic, we were very much in our own bubble. Um, but they've become some of my closest friends. I think they're both, well, both all so talented. I mean, Sebastian included too. Um, mm -hmm. it was just so much fun. And filming in Hawaii was the greatest. I've filmed there a couple times now and it's probably my favorite place I've gotten to film in. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful. The weather's great. The people there are amazing. So it was a great time. I was very sad to leave. So I'd love to see everyone again. Season two. Hey. I hope so. So you've had some amazing scene partners over the years. Who would you love to work with again? I mean, I think biasly, like I would love to do another Jumanji. I also think like everyone would love to see another Jumanji. We'll see. I, the pandemic kind of got in the way of everything and like we've all gotten a bit older. Um, but <laughs> I mean, that would, those are just like the funnest movies in the world and getting to work with Jack Black. He's, 
I've got, and I got to work with him in Goosebumps too. I feel like I've worked with Jack more than I've worked with anyone. Um, but it, it was just so much fun. I, I feel like I've dived into a lot of really dark or scary thriller things recently. I'm like, I could use some comedy in my life. So <laughs> fun to do. And Jack Black is definitely someone that Twitter loves. Oh my yes. gosh. <laughs> I mean, how can you not love Jack Black? He's like the funniest person in the world. Uh, yeah, he's great. And his whole team is great. Um, yeah. So going back to this show, did you have any favorite scenes to shoot? Oh, I'm trying to think. Honestly, my favorite stuff I think I did was everything with Bill Heck, who plays my father. Um, he's just so great. And we got into some really deep stuff. And he was always so good at just like making it light and fun. Um, and he was just like, I don't know, he became like my buddy. He was like my dad, my dad buddy. Um, so I, re I really loved all the stuff that we did together. Also, anytime everyone was together, I think those are my favorites, which are rare. You know, I feel like often it'll be like two and two, like you'll have Riley and Dilly, Dylan, Margo and, and Allison, um, or like switch it up. So anytime all of us were together, that was always just like the best treat. Um, and also we got to film in like so many beautiful locations. So I think the, the scene when I got pushed into the water by all the nature runners. Um, mm. <laughs> yes. location. Oh yeah. And that, that was a very interesting scene too. <laughs> um, honestly, that's like on the bucket list, you know, get tracked in by a, a crowd of naked runners. Um, <laughs> when you never really get to do that in your lifetime. <laughs> no. um, so that, that was a memorable day. I will say that, but it was like in the most beautiful location too. So that was, a, that was probably the biggest treat in Hawaii it was like all the different places we got to go shoot at. Oh, so a lot of people are watching this show. What have you been watching lately? I know Brianne said that you bonded over brand new cherry flavor, which I oh. loved. I was so happy you two watched it. So good. Oh, good. Why didn't people watch it? I don't get it. But I mean, it's definitely like, it's weird. And like, I like weird. Obviously everyone on our show pretty much likes weird. And it's like, <laughs> it is not like it's going for it. And I appreciate that so much. And uh, the first time I saw her throw up a kitten, I was like, yes, like I'm in. Um, so binge that in like a day. Honestly, right now I'm trying to get caught up on everything I have missed the entire year. So right now I'm watching, I just started Nine Perfect Strangers, which I like so far, um, but I'm very much behind. Like I've got a long list, like Mayor of Town, White Lotus, um Ted Lasso like I've got a huge I don't know what I'm gonna do hopefully like maybe over Christmas I'll just binge everything and be a couch potato yeah totally so I asked about your favorite scene partners and other people that you want to work with still <sighs> that's also a hard question um sorry no I mean it's a good one I, I feel like I asked so much I should have my answers ready for this but I I like it's like when someone asks you your favorite movie you're like oh my gosh yes like, um <laughs> but probably for many reasons, like Reese Witherspoon is like my full-time idol, just like as a woman, as a businesswoman, as an actress. Um, so I would love to work with her one day in any way, whether she was like producing something or I don't know, but I just think she's like so inspiring. Um, and I've loved her since I was little. Um, so yeah, I've always been big, a big Reese fan. Oh, well, I can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you so, so much for your time. Thank you for this performance. Thank you so much. Yeah, this was great. Thank you. Have a great day.